Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 day trade setup for today. So we've been going uh, sort of sideways for the last uh, couple of days, actually last four days, um, but a pretty weird pattern. You can see we were falling, buyers were stepping in, gapped up and uh, still pushed down. So the close was always coming down lower and lower. But um, yeah, it, it's more than sideways than anything else. And then yesterday we've got a pretty strong engulfing bar and now we're kind of happy that the vaccine has been rolled out. Uh, previous couple of days we weren't so happy about it, but now yesterday we were clearly very happy about it. Anyway, I think the, the confusion is continuing. Um, we are in a channel. I think you can see that that's pretty clear at the moment. We've got uh, six touches on that channel, so it's going to take quite a bit of effort to break below the channel at the moment. I think that's uh, pretty much well and truly in place. As far as I'm concerned, we're still looking for opportunities to buy. And uh, yesterday wasn't really an opportunity to buy. There wasn't any structure. Uh, yeah, it's very easy to, to look at the charts afterwards and say, yeah, there, that was a great opportunity to buy. But uh, in my view anyway, you know, we did come down to this area here and uh, consolidate a little bit after the, the meltdown. But again, as I said yesterday, above and below the moving average like that, not really a uh, good structure. Uh, what we see at the moment is some pretty good structure brewing at the moment. And what I do want to do is just put in this level here. So this is the level we need to get through. Okay, so that's 3700. We need to get through 3700. Come back and hold it, and then we should be able to look for further upside. Alternatively, we're looking for a pullback back into structure in the middle here somewhere on a fairly decent pullback and that's uh, pretty difficult to get a f exact level here but you can see there are tails here tails here you can see we use it as resistance there and uh, I think that's kind of the ballpark which would be a very interesting pullback which is a 36.79 I somehow don't think that's going to happen looking at the daily uh, the daily we have a fairly solid um, open on our low and close on our high. We drift a little bit lower, the buyer stepped in, but that's a pretty bullish bar, that. Okay, so let's just get down to the one hour. So we had a move up, a bit of consolidation, and then uh, buyers pretty much stepped in and started driving this higher. So at the moment, I would look at it uh, pretty much as I'm looking for the breakouts at the moment. So. Uh, 3700 is clearly the the area I want to see a breakout so we can get 3700 to go um, looking for a retest of that and I'll take that retest on a 15 or a 20 minute chart so breakout extend a little bit higher get a few uh, 15 minute uh, bars closing above it come back test it and then um, in for the trade targets at the moment you know my ultimate target is still 4000 Maybe not this year, it could be this year, you never know, but uh, I think that's pretty much where we, we're heading at the moment. That is the measured move of the consolidation that we had, and that consolidation is this area here. Okay, so that's a pretty big double bottom, and uh, 4,000 is the end goal for this uh, consolidation pattern here. Okay, so yeah, for me, Definitely looking to buy. It's looking a lot better than yesterday. Yesterday was a situation of um, just keep your money in your pocket and wait for for some structure. And I think that structure is in place. Pull back back onto uh, thirty six seven nine or thirty six eighty would be an ideal buying opportunity for me. Uh, but somehow I just uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I think you're probably going to see a bit of a consolidation here. Then Europe's going to open and we're going to to move. Okay, so, um, so yeah, I think there's a lot of uh, optimism on the, um, the stimulus package firstly, and then um, the vaccine rollout is the other one, which is uh, driving sentiment at the moment. So I think those two drivers are pretty much under control right now for the, for the bulls. So let's just see. Uh, yeah, anything can happen. As you can see, the last couple of days has been flipping on... Uh, uh, just a, a sniff of something and at the moment 
what we're really looking for is a, a start of a trend and we aren't in a trend just yet okay so anyway that's that's me for today i'm looking to buy i'm looking to buy the breakout here 3700 so a breakout retest uh, any kind of pullback from where we are at the moment uh, you know there is the risk of this goes all the way back down to the bottom of the channel or alternatively into you know there's a mini range here on the hour at the bottom of the range uh, I kind of I'm not anticipating that because you can see it looks like a bit of a rounding bottom here so for me the higher probability is break retest top of channel uh, up here at uh, 3770 area uh, before a bit of a pullback and then continuation to the upside okay anyway guys that's it for me hope it helps and uh, we will catch you tomorrow cheers for now